So now we move to the 285 pound weight class where it's Stryker Lane of Cornell and Blake Heron of American. Stryker Lane ran into the number one seed, Dom Bradley, back in the first round, lost 10 to one in a major decision. Meanwhile, Blake Heron lost a 6-1 decision to Matthew Gibson of Iowa State. That's how those, these two guys got to here and we're underway. This will probably be the final match on this mat seven. Stryker Lane, he's a junior out of Redvale, Colorado. Went to Norwood High School out there. Last year recorded a 1911 mark in his third season for Cornell at heavyweight. Had 10 falls, which were good enough for fourth on the team. He placed second at the New York State Championships and fourth in the National Collegiate Open. That was last year for Stryker Lane. Prior to coming to Cornell, he was a three-time Colorado State champion. And he still holds the state record for career pins with 123. And a takedown there by Blake Heron of American. He's in the royal blue with red trim singlet. Cornell Stranker Lane is in the traditional Cornell red singlet with the big white C on the front. So the American Eagle wrestler Blake Heron on top and starting to rack up some riding time, almost to one minute. Heron, a junior out of Huntsville, Alabama. That's not a locale that you hear very often in terms of the hotbeds of wrestling, but he comes from Huntsville High School. The junior last year went 17 and 11 Overall was one and one in duels. Came in third at the Keystone Classic, posting a four and one record there. And then went four and one at the National Collegiate Open, placed third. He redshirted the 2010-11 season. In high school, he was a three-time All-American, one time a 215 pound national runner up, two time state champion, participated in football and wrestling all four years of high school. So, well rounded athlete is Blake Heron, and that will do it for the first period. Stryker Lane on top to start the second period. And a nice reversal as Blake Heron makes it four to nothing in his favor in the second period. A 
Hey, don't forget, not all the action is here. It's also over at the High V Center, just uh, right across the street. As some blood time for striker lane but uh, next door at the high V Center you've got all kinds of good stuff going on over there they've got the win magazine memorabilia show love tons of good speakers over there they had Dan Gable today they have reigning Olympic Olympic champion and Hodge trophy winner Jordan Burroughs in Nebraska three-time Super Bowl champion Stephen Neal and I'll have five other Hodge Trophy winners, including Iowa's Mark Ironside and Brent Metcalf, also appearing as the first four-time NCAA champion, Pat Smith of Oklahoma State, and also the plenty of others, NCAA and Olympic champions. So the semifinals preview show in between sessions uh, tomorrow, make time to attend the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championship semifinal preview show at the Fan Fest stage. Expert analysis, Nate Carr, Scott Casper, and Wade Chalice will break down all of this year's semifinal matches and take questions from the audience. All takes place at four o'clock tomorrow at the NCAA Fan Festival stage in Hy-Vee Hall. So we're back underway after blood time for Stryker Lane. And now, Karen, Elevates those legs, trying to get Lane to his back. He still has those legs tied up with a minute 10. Left to go in the second period. Just cut him as Heron for the one point escape. First point for striker Lane. Under 10 seconds left to go, second period, and this has been all Blake Heron of American. So with the choice, Stryker Lane chooses down. He'll need to get out and get something going. Final two minutes of this match, and probably for this mat tonight as we're wrapping up the 285 weight class. So. Stryker Lane getting some blood attended to.
128 left to go. Third period, two point match. Striker Lane trailing Blake Heron. Lane out of Cornell and there's a two takedown for Blake Heron. So now he's back on top with a minute 18. He has two minutes and 39 seconds of riding time. Now, Lane able to escape. Gets to their feet. It's six to three, Heron. Heron out of American. He's in the royal blue with red trim singlet. And Stryker Lane in the traditional Cornell red singlet. So 15 seconds left, and it looks like Blake Heron of American is going to pick up the victory and move to the next round of the consolation bracket. That will do it. With the riding time, the final score is Blake Heron 7, 7-3 over Stryker Lane.